And a lot of you guys will come into this at some point about somebody responding to you with, I don't want to join networks because it's too saturated. We hear that sometimes and this is what I'm going to tell you. It's not saturated. There are people in Florida where the corporate office is. Hannah and I watched follow this girl on Periscope and she was talking about um, how she literally like lives right there and didn't know anything about it works. So we have a little bit over 200,000 distributors, which 200,000 is a lot. Yes. But let's talk about how many billion people are in the world. And then think about companies like Avon, Mary Kay, Pampered Chef, those kind of companies that have literally been around forever and they still have people buying their products and they still have people joining. I still get asked from this one lady that did like one of those facial makeup, I'm going to come to your house and put some stuff on you in hopes that you'll buy something from me kind of thing. I still have her contact me and that was like six years ago about becoming a distributor like she's still working she's still making money and so that's the thing is you guys got into this business when it's about to take off like this business is going places we are one of the only debt-free companies out there completely debt-free we've been around for 15 years and there are tons of people that don't know about it so spread the word everywhere you go um start Going out, if you are not super, super comfortable on social media, this is one of the things that I wanted to touch on, um, and you don't want to post a whole lot yet, one thing I will say first is that don't ever answer the question of whether somebody would want this product or this company, let them answer it for you. And that's something that I was extremely guilty for or about, however you say it, I don't know, my brain is mush, sorry. Um, I was extremely guilty for doing for the longest time is I, like I told you guys, I was embarrassed. I didn't want to message my friend um, from high school and say, Hey girl, like come join me. I got my hands on something amazing because I was worried she would laugh at me and tell me that this is a scam or a pyramid scheme or whatever. Um, her response would be, I was scared. And so I answered the question for her and I was like, no, she wouldn't want this. And guess what? On Elisa, on our team, on our team page, my, she is one of my best friends from high school. I've known her since middle school and she sat and watched me for a year and a half before she joined me. And finally she confronted me and was like, why haven't you asked me about this yet? Like, why haven't you told me about it? And I'm like, well, because I didn't think you'd want to do it. Like who doesn't want to make an extra $500 a month or an extra $200 a month or an extra $30,000 a month? Like don't answer that question for them. My mom is now What's up, Austin? <laughs> My mom is now a distributor, you guys, and she hit Ruby in her first full two calendar months, which is insane. And if she can do it, you can do it. So don't ever answer that question for anybody. Um, if you're not comfortable on social media, there are other ways to work the business. So that's what I wanted to talk about really quick, too. Um, <clears throat> you can go out and blitz. If you are a people person, like me, I can literally start a conversation with anybody about anything in the entire world. It doesn't matter. Um, go out and blitz. They have these cute little cards that should come in your kit. Some of you know what these are. Some of you don't. They look like this. It says, have you tried that crazy wrap thing? It's like a little coupon. It says $25 instead of 30 And on the back, it says this is what it does with a before and after picture. You would just leave your information right here. And you just hand them a coupon. So um, an easy way to blitz is to, if you're not comfortable with it at first, which a lot of people aren't, I was terrified of blitzing, even though I am a people person, um, but go to, a, go to the grocery store. And when you're checking out, let them finish checking you out, pay for your food or your groceries or whatever, and say, you are so sweet. Thank you for your help. Here's a coupon. Boom, you just blitz somebody. It's that easy. Don't make it complicated. So that's another great way to work your business and get your name out there and get more potentials. Um, and you're not just working on social media because eventually if you're not adding people, friending people, following people, you're going to tap out what we call your warm market. And that's people that you're already friends with. So something that you have to do that's super important in this business um, 
I'll touch on that in just a second, Maria. Good question, though. Um, something that you have to do with this business is constantly increase your audience because if the same people are seeing your posts over and over and over and over again, it's eventually going to kind of wear out. Like you're not going to really get anywhere. Either they're going to buy or they have bought or they're not going to buy. Um, and you may have those people that watch you for a year and a half and then join. So yeah, there's that constantly be increasing your audience during blitzing. At first, I would say no, you don't have to talk about the products a lot. Um, the card itself is gonna intrigue people, especially if they've never heard about it. They're gonna be like, seriously, like um, I could, like for me, I had twins, so I have a flabby baby belly, I'll be honest. I'm like, I look like I'm skinny, but my baby, my, my baby, <laughs> my belly is saggy still. And these wraps are freaking amazing because I still looked five months pregnant after I had my twins, and now I don't. Um, but these cards are going to be intriguing enough for them to wonder, does this actually work? Um, and most of the time, they they may not follow up with you. They may. But most of the time, I will say something like, if you text me in the next five minutes, or if you add me on Facebook in the next five minutes, because I always put my name as it is on Facebook, and I write out to the side, add me on Facebook with a little smiley face. Um, you'll be entered into a drawing to win a free bottle of fat buyers or a free wrap or whatever you want to give away. A lot of you guys may not have products yet. That's okay. Um, you can still enter them into a drawing. They don't know when the drawing is going to be. Um, they don't know that you don't have products. That's a way to get people to text you or friend you so that they now become one of your potentials. Um, as you get more comfortable with blitzing, you can talk about the products. Like for me now, like I could sit and talk till I'm blue in the face about the products. But at the beginning, I never did. I was just like, hey, here's a coupon. You know, text me for more details, whatever. It was a lot easier for me personally to text about the products because we have this awesome website called Product Coach. It's my it works product coach .com. If you haven't been on there, definitely get on there. It answers frequently asked questions about every single product we have. It will tell you what the product does. Um, and it's super like easy to read. So definitely do that. And for me, like I said, it was more comfortable for me to text about those products than it was to be face to face and worry about what do I say if they ask me a question and I don't know the answer to. That was one of my biggest fears. So, um, I hope that answered your question, Maria. <clears throat> and Peyton, what was yours? You would just like to meet though. Hold on, I'll unmute you. Okay, you're unmuted. Oh, um, I would, I would like to mention um, my dad. He works at Walmart. And I actually had him take a couple of those cards up there with my name and my number on it. And I had him take them up there. So I don't know if that's considered blitzing, but I was pretty proud of myself for doing that. Yeah, definitely. There's a few different ways to blitz. Like, um, and that's a great way to kind of like get your cards out there without like being scared about confronting people or something. Or if you're like me and you literally never go anywhere. Like when you do go places, there's people that it's called stealth blitzing. Like they'll leave blitz cards, you know, in the diaper aisle or um, somewhere where they know moms are going to be. Or maybe you go to a little restaurant in town and you leave like 10 blitz cards at the cashier and you just ask them, do you mind if I leave a few coupons here? Most of the time they're okay with it. So that's another way to get your cards out there and you know, when people see that, they're going to take it. They may not contact you, but that's a potential that you may have that watches you forever or adds you on Facebook or sits and looks at that card on their refrigerator every single day thinking, I wonder whether this works. And then they contact you six months later and say, hey, I'm that girl you blitz like a year ago. I'm ready to try them. You guys never know how many people are watching you on a constant basis. They didn't put their info on it? What in the world? That was just a mess up on their part because now you're stuck with me. I don't I don't know why they didn't put their info on it. It was blank like under that, that thing that you were talking about. And I saw it and I was like, what is this? And because it was down at like the U-scan part. 
And I was like, what is this? Because I was like, with my with my boss around, she would take anything that's like, like not Myers approved and all this other stuff. And I was like looking at it. And so I, I took it and I like folded it up and put it in my pocket. So then whenever I came home that day, I was just like looking at it and I was like it, down at the bottom, it was like your information or something. And there was, it was blank. And I was like, okay. So then I Googled it and then that's how I figured, found out what it works was. But I felt so bad because I was like, I don't know who left this pro this thing right here, you know? Yeah. They caught your attention and they didn't get anything out of it. <laughs> oh, well, so moral of that story is don't forget to put your information on your blitz cards. Um, <clears throat> when, when you have a blank spot next, I'll save it. Just let me know. But I have one thing to add about blitzing. Just let me know. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the thing about stealth blitzing, though, is like, don't expect to get the results you're looking for if you just stealth blitz. Like now, like what Sarah said, it's still an okay, acceptable way to blitz. If you're gonna blitz, like blitz however like you want to. Blitz in person, stealth blitz, like be creative. Um, a couple of random things I'll ramble off. Like today I was at the gym and I was on a mission. So I just stealth blitz and I always put blitz cards up on our bulletin boards and I swear like every time I go back, they're gone. So I don't know if people are taking them down or if someone's actually finding them or whatever, but I don't care. They're still going back up. Um, like when I was in GNC, they actually have body wraps there and I kind of felt bad, but I just put one in the shelf, like right by the body, like the body wraps aisle. Um, one thing I like to do when I'm doing it in person is on the back where you write down your info, I like to write like, you know, text me about free product or text me about a product tester or about being a product tester or contact me to try something at 40% off. I always like to add a little tidbit in there just because if, if they, if they're picking your card up off of a bulletin board, you know, it's, it's something to help you. Um, but as far as like doing it in person, one thing I like to try to do is imagine if you were like a gas station employee and somebody came up and blitzed you. Like what would scare you? What would turn you off? What would actually make a connection? And a good example I, I have of that is I was helping my friend register at Babies R Us and this friend was actually a distributor of mine and she quit, but that's, you know, that's on her. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop working. And we were checking out and the cash cashier was pregnant and like that's like an immediate connection in this business and I just I made small talk I asked her about her like her pregnancy and she mentioned something about getting awful stretch marks and just by having that conversation I I discovered that she was struggling with stretch marks and it was literally an open door to blitz and I gave her my blitz card and she actually signed up as a little customer so always try to like connect with them and not just say, Hey, have you tried that crazy rap thing? If you try a product of mine for three months, you'll get 40% off. Like that is going to turn people off. Just make small talk and act like they're your best friend. That's what I do. And it really works. I like it. And, and I don't, don't tell anybody this. You guys are the only people who can know this. But I hate the, Hey, have you tried that crazy rap thing? Like that's just so, generic and salesy to me I never ever say hey have you tried that crazy rap thing you will hear ambassador diamonds say that like sometimes that's what they message people I do not do that because if I received a message talking about hey have you tried that crazy rap thing like I would be like what no like delete I wouldn't even respond honestly and that's a great point that Hannah just brought up like and it goes with anything that you're doing in this business. It goes with posting, it goes with blitzing, it goes with talking to people. Um, it goes with when you have rap parties, if you have rap parties, be relatable. I cannot preach that enough and relate to these people, make those connections and be real. Like don't overwhelm people. Um, just let them ask the questions, answer the questions, but relate to them at the same time. Don't word vomit all over them and, scare them off. Um, so literally you can relate to anybody about something. You just have to maybe have a conversation with that person first, which is what this is all about. We are not just trying to sell people. We want to help people. And I have so many constant, 
relationships going on in my phone, like text message and message wise, like I'm BFFs with like random people that tell me about their entire life story and what's going on with their kids and everything. And it's overwhelming sometimes, but that's what's gotten me a lot of you guys is to build a relationship with you. And I know Hannah feels the same way. Like if, if I just sent you a message saying, Hey, have you tried that crazy rap thing? Come sign up because I get a $99 bonus and I want to help you hit your Ruby bonus. Like nobody would respond to that because you're making it about you and not them. You have to make it about them. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, another way to work your business, I'm going to get back on topic so I don't keep you guys all night, but by the way, I bought the pro version, so I could be on here for another two hours. I'm just kidding. So I won't, <laughs> um, another way to work your business is doing parties. So I was also terrified of parties. I'm like a social media guru. I love social media and I, I literally did nothing else for an entire year. I did not have my first rap party for a year. And let me tell you, they are amazing because just like blitzing in the sense as when you get in front of people, you're more likely to make a connection with them and it's going to build that trust with them and that relationship a lot faster than it would if you're just texting them. They don't know you from Adam. If you're just somebody that followed them on Instagram and you're trying to start up a conversation, you know, you may get some relationships out of that, but it's a lot different when they're literally face to face and they can hear your excitement. They can see your emotion. There's just so many amazing things that happen at rap parties. So <clears throat> it doesn't matter whether you have all of the products, one of the products or none of the products. You can have a rap party. You can have wine at your rap party and send people home with wraps. They don't even have to wrap at the party. What happens at a wrap party is the host gets a free wrap, so they don't pay $25. And as I always do mine, like as long as you bring three people, you wrap for free. So if they're literally the only ones that show up, sorry, they don't get a free wrap. They can pay $25 for a wrap, but they don't get a free one. But if they bring three people, whether those people sign up or not, that's okay. They get to wrap for free, and those other people that they bring can wrap for $25. So the wraps go for retail price. You can sell them as low as 20, I believe, and as high as 30. Um, but I usually do retail price $25. And I just talk about the products. I talk about what I use every day. I talk about how amazing they are. I talk about some of my friends' before and afters or um, just their testimonies for the products. And I'm just excited. There is no written out script that you can use to like seal the deal necessarily. Honestly, excitement is going to seal the deal. I had a wrap party the other day for one of my distributors and um, literally everybody signed up as either a customer or a distributor, everybody. And there were four people there. So if they can visually see it, it's gonna be so good for your business. Um, and then you build a local team, which is even even better because you can do team trainings, you can go to team events with your team, you can get together and it's just, it's just amazing. So if you guys haven't done a wrap party, do a wrap party, they're awesome, don't be intimidated, just wing it because nobody, nobody else knows what you're doing so they're not gonna know whether you mess up or not, like who cares. Um, any questions so far? Like I haven't stopped for questions the whole time, does anybody have a question? Nope. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Um, one of the biggest things that I think I messed up on, um, and I don't want you guys to do the same thing is set goals for yourself, but not, <laughs> Oh my gosh, you and Pokemon go stop it. <laughs> I wish my husband would blitz while he plays Pokemon go, but Nope, he doesn't. He just plays Pokemon go. Um, but anyway, so set goals and not timelines for yourself. I think a lot of times we get discouraged because the Ruby bonus, like when you first start off, you're like, I'm going to get this Ruby bonus. And then you don't. And a lot of people lose momentum after they don't get their Ruby bonus. And a lot of people don't get their Ruby bonus. So that is what I want to remind you guys is set a goal for yourself. If Ruby is your goal, that's great. $500 a month is great. I can guarantee you that $500 a month is going to continue to grow a lot more than that one time $500 bonus. Your residual income and your rank 
and your team that continues to grow after you hit that Ruby rank, as long as you keep working, is going to make up for that bonus that you missed. Um, for instance, when I went diamond, I got a $20,000 bonus. When I went double diamond, I got a $30,000 bonus. When my husband went emerald, he got a $2,000 bonus, and I never hit my Ruby bonus. So that doesn't change anything. Don't work for the bonuses, work for the ranks, because even though I got those bonuses, like that's not, they break it up during months. If you guys don't know about bonuses, they don't. Other than the Ruby bonus, that's a one-time payout. But like they pay it out to you over the span of two years. So it's literally like $800 on a paycheck, which $800 is nice. But the majority of that paycheck comes from your rank and your customers and your distributors and your team. It comes from your constant work. So do not give up even if you don't get a bonus. It doesn't matter. There'll be other bonuses and there'll be more ranks that you can achieve. Just keep pushing. Um, the average person takes eight months to a year to go Ruby, so keep that in mind. Diamond is one to two years on average. Triple is two to three years. And Ambassador is four to five years. So I want you guys to think about this. We talked about how much Ambassador Diamonds make. If it took you, there are eight ranks in the company, not including like distributor because that's what everybody starts with. If it took you all eight years to make it to Ambassador Diamond making $30,000 a month, would it not be worth it even if it took you eight years? It would totally be worth it in my opinion because there is nobody, nowhere else that you can go. Maybe a doctor. I don't really know how much they make, but there's nowhere else that you can make $30,000 a month. So even if it takes me literally a year or two years to get to every single rank, it's going to be worth it in the end. So keep your why in mind. Um, another thing is don't compare yourself to other people. So when I first started, I followed a lot of people on Facebook. I followed like um, higher up people like uh, our ambassador diamond is Amanda McGee. So if you don't follow her, definitely follow her, her husband, Chris McGee, um, Jocelyn Yates, there are so Susan Wade, she's a hilarious one that Ileana posts about a lot of times. Um, Kayla Briggs, like there are so many that you can follow to just get ideas and everything. But what I don't want you guys to do is compare yourself to others. So don't like Hannah is a freaking rock star. Not everybody can sign 42 customers in a month, okay? So don't compare yourself to her. I have never signed 42 customers in a month, never. Um, and some of you guys are probably gonna sign more than that. I'm like a distributor enrolling machine. For some reason, I sign a crap load of distributors. Not all of you may sign a crap load of distributors. That's just how it goes. Your story is different than everybody's. You may be in chapter one, somebody else may be in chapter 15. So do not compare your chapters because they're not the same. They're never gonna be the same. This is your business, it's your story that you're writing and you're doing it for you and that's it. So take your time, but work hard. Did you wanna say something, Hannah? I was gonna type it so I didn't interrupt you. Oh, I feel like I like I can see like your face. Like I know when you're about to say something. <laughs> well, you made me blush, but you know, like just what Sarah said, I may have done that, but Sarah has signed how many what's the most distributors you sign in a month? Twelve, fifteen, somewhere in there? Fifteen a month, yeah. Fifteen distributors in one month, y'all. Sarah signed. Like freaking candy. I mean, I've signed like maybe four or five tops in one month in my whole business. So everybody's different. And like, I think it's just because Sarah and I are best friends. Like I'm always comparing myself to her and that's good because it fuels my fire. Whatever you have to do to keep going, you know, obviously your why, but don't compare yourself because that's only going to let toxic into your business because, you know, Jocelyn Yates, for example, it took her six months six months to sign a single distributor and she is now an ambassador diamond yeah it took her um, nine months to go ruby didn't it nine months mm -hmm. i think yeah yeah and she's been in this business maybe two two and a half years something somewhere in there she's like 23 making 30 grand a month same thing with amanda like and they're real people so worry about your business put your blinders on don't let the negativity in and just literally keep moving forward that's all you can do because every day is a new day and um real quick you need to self-develop like if you're not self-developing 
you know, at least 15 minutes a day, your cup is going to keep draining and draining and draining. And you cannot expect to go anywhere if your cup isn't full. So watch The Secret on Netflix. I'm sure Sarah's told you. It was like in 2008. It's kind of cheesy, but it's amazing. And look into self-development development books. My favorite is You Are a Badass right now. I'm almost done with it. So Good one. definitely self-development. Yes. And basically self-development just means like if you guys are new and you're not really sure, it just means like what she said, just filling your cup back up, fueling your fire and making you believe in yourself again. Because a lot of times in this business, you can get discouraged after you've heard several no's. But what you don't know is that if you message one more person or stay up one more hour to message more people or just do one more thing, that could be your yes. And so self-development is key with just knowing that like you are worth this. There's a lot of people that come into this business and they're just like, I guess it wasn't for me. I guess I don't deserve $30,000 a month. No, everybody deserves $30,000 a month, but are you going to be the person that puts in the work to get there? Or are you just going to throw your hands up and quit? So like Hannah says, don't compare yourself negative wise, but if Hannah needs to, have like a competition with me just to get her butt up to sign like 15 distributors. Like if that's what she does to fuel her fire, then that's what you do. Just don't do it in a negative way. Um, you can look up to people like that and, and kind of do like an internal competition. Like I'm going to kick butt this month or sign more. I mean, guys, I've only signed two customers this month, two, two customers. Um, but I've signed eight distributors. So Everybody's different. Um, one thing I want to, I don't want to keep you guys forever. So I'm going to touch on like one more important thing. And that's kind of what I do and what you need to be doing consistently, whether it be on a daily basis or a weekly basis. And I've gone over this one time in a zoom before, but um, for the new people, I just kind of want to break down like what I'm doing. <clears throat> so number one, you need to be posting every single day every single day. It, if you don't get two po product posts in, make sure you at least get one in. Um, and make sure you get one business post in or lifestyle post. So you need to be posting every single day. If your mouth is closed and if you're using social media as your mouth and you're not posting, your business is closed. People are not seeing your posts. Um, consistency is key with posting. Number two, messaging people. You need to be following up and messaging people. Um, I message every single person that likes or comments on my It Works pictures. I don't message people like on my lifestyle pictures because a lot of times it's like a selfie talking or like a picture of my kids and I'm like, look, I get to stay at home. And I feel like people don't actually read the caption, so I don't want to message somebody like that. But that's personal preference. But I do message every single person that likes or comments on a product post. And I'll just say, hey, girl, and then I insert a compliment. And it's always genuine. I love the shirt that you're wearing in that last picture you posted. Or, oh, my gosh, your kids are so freaking cute. Or, oh, wow, you live in Florida. I've always wanted to live in Florida. Like, take time to look at their profile and pick something out that you can compliment them on. And open the door that way because if you just message them, we've talked about this. Hey, try that. Have you tried that crazy rap thing? They're going to ignore you. Um, so I always send a message and said, "Hey, girl, like your kids are so cute. Thanks for the love on my pictures lately. Would you be interested in hearing more about the products we have, or would you be interested in hearing more about the discount we have going on right now?" There's a lot of different ways that you can um, message people, and if you're on Hannah's downline, then she may have some other tips to give you, but that's kind of just what I do. Um, and a lot of times I get ignored and a lot of times I get responses and they're just like, no, I like to, sh I just like to show love to my followers. And I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. Well, thanks for the love. Like I'm never rude about it. I'm never mean about it. But there's always going to be that one person that you're going to get after a hundred messages. That's going to be like, yeah, actually I've been watching you for six months and I'm ready to buy products. So Again, don't answer the question for them and make sure that you're doing that consistently or you're going to lose track of who you message and who you haven't. Um, blitz saying definitely blitz on a consistent basis when you're out and about. Self-development, we've already done that. Plugging in, there's a lot of different ways to plug in 
during the week there are different calls so on sunday night at 10 o'clock eastern time nine o'clock central time there's a family call that's with our um, ceo and chief networking officer pam souder um, mike patello and mark pentecost so those are amazing they kind of just let you know what's going on for the week um, that's when any of the specials are announced is during that family call so those are always exciting and then on monday nights at nine eastern time eight central time um, they have show me the money calls and those are calls that people get on for all from all different ranks and they just talk about their journey with it works how fast or slow they promoted what they did their biggest aha moments biggest tips stuff like that those are incredible because if you're ever feeling down i guarantee you you're going to hear somebody talk about their story and you're going to be like that's totally me like i heard a girl um one time um i don't know, remember who it was but it took her the exact time that it took me it took her seven months to go ruby and then within a year and a half she was ambassador um and i was just like dude if she can do it then i can do it what's that like why am i different than her i deserve every bit of happiness that she deserves because she's no one special i'm no one special um so plugging in is awesome there's also events that go on if you go to myitworksevents.com you will see lots of one team one missions uh, it works you events the conferences we have a couple conferences a year so definitely do that stay plugged in be a product of the product do parties follow-ups hundreds list so if you guys don't know what a hundreds list is i highly recommend you make one somehow some way um, some people do it in their calendars some people do it on a notebook some people do it in their phones, but write down a hundred names. The first hundred people that come to your mind. Um, it can be your dentist for all I care. I did, don't care. Like anybody. Write these people down and the next time you are there, approach them about it or send them a message. Um, don't be spammy. It's very different. But I use these little things right here that I made on the computer. And it'll just say like potential customers at the top, potential distributors, whatever. Um, I will write their names down, how I talk to them, what products they were interested in, and then I'll highlight them off when they order. So you see, I have a lot of potentials that have never ordered. And that's okay, I have like 10 of these pages, but all the highlighted names have. And these are people that I just follow up with on a regular basis. I don't annoy the crap out of them, but, um, but yeah, I follow up them on a consistent basis. And I will say that when I follow up, I don't just say, hey girl, are you still interested in getting a 40% off discount? No. I'm like, hey girl, I hope you had a great weekend. Or hey, how did your kid's birthday party go? I'm following up with them as a real person and a friend, and I'm not just following up with them trying to get them to buy. If you follow up with them, over and over again and you're just like hey did you still want those products we talked about hey did you still want those products we talked about they're going to start ignoring you um but if you do it in a nice like friendly way they're going to respond to you and they may not be interested in the products anymore but you're going to get a response you're going to start a conversation iliana what's up yeah, I just wanted to bring up um, what I told you yesterday about that girl. Um, there was this girl that like two weeks after I signed up as a distributor, she posted like a Facebook status to all It Works distributors saying like, no, I'm not interested in any of your products. Stop asking me like I can't take them anyways because I'm breastfeeding, blah, blah, blah. And so I've never messaged her. But in the back of my mind, I'm like one day she's going to be a loyal customer, a distributor on me, whatever. But I never messaged her. And so yesterday I made some kind of post. I don't remember exactly which one, but then she messaged me just yesterday about becoming a distributor. And I was like, what the heck, you know, remembering that she said she was not interested or whatever. And, um, and then she, you know, was talking about maybe trying the products first and she's like, okay, well, if I buy the products, it's going to be from you because everyone else just tries to push the product on me and just says, Oh, they're good. They're good. Like they're awesome or whatever. But you know, she sees all of these like spammy people and uh, these people who just post like just it works stuff. But she sees my profile and I post stuff about my two boys and stuff like that. And I'm more genuine and I like post like, you know, like product demo videos and stuff like that. You know, I make it like more real. And um, 
so yeah so that's something to keep in mind that people do change their mind and if you're not so salesy and so like hardcore trying to get the sale like people change their mind sometimes yes and they continue to watch you and see how genuine you are about it and how excited you are and that yeah. excitement rubs off on people yeah yeah for sure um, and I'll say, I'm going to talk about you for a second, Maria, because Maria has been confronted by how many, like five or six distributors. And she started asking questions because she wanted to know anything and everything about the business before she joined, just like me. Like I asked my upline questions for six months before I joined. Um, but nobody took the time out to answer her questions. And so she never joined. I was the only person that took the time out to answer her questions. And now she's a distributor because she's always been interested, but nobody took the time out to be real with her. And that's, that's another point that's similar to Ileana's like, just be real. Um, just, just be real. I can't like say anything else about that unless Maria wants to touch on it. And it's okay, Peyton. We didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, it was just, it was just weird because I went, I personally went to like five different people who were like distributors on, on Instagram and I was like, Hey, you know, I was just looking into what it works with really was because, you know, I feel like you can't really get the whole information like through Google and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, what is it, you know, and everything like that. And I just had, um, some people that just kind of like shoved me away or, um, I had one girl and she was like, oh, I don't have any more spots left. Um, get back to me in like a week or something. And I texted her back in a week and she was like, oh, you waited too long, blah, blah, blah. There's no spots left. And I was like, you can still tell me about the product, you know. I don't know. It was just kind of. And then I had one one girl and I was asking her questions and she started answering questions. But like she gave me like the like most like 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 you all keep on saying like the salesy kind of you know answers you know she she didn't really like go into depth and everything so it was just like I guess I'm not gonna join and then Sarah followed me not too long ago I think and I started seeing her posts and I was like well maybe I'll give it one more try so <laughs> and here you are Yes. And one thing that I do when I'm talking to people, I don't know if you guys are comfortable with this, but I do this all the time. Um, especially if people have iPhones, I will send voice messages instead of texting because they can hear your excitement. Um, I, I just feel like I can explain it so much better when I'm like in a voice message. So if they don't have an iPhone, the other part of that is to just get on Facebook. And that's what I did with Maria. She doesn't have an iPhone, but I got on Facebook and I just sent her voice recording after voice recording after voice recording mm -hmm. only lets you do like minute long voice. So they would be like six in a row, but don't or vomit on people when they don't ask. But if they ask questions, answer those questions, like acknowledge their questions because obviously they're interested. I, 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 that just blows my mind that I can't even believe somebody turned you down. I know. I don't, I don't understand how, you know, seeing how we, like everybody here is, you know, I don't understand how they wouldn't want to answer my questions and try to get me like on their team or something like that. I just didn't understand that. So that's why I was like, oh, maybe not, maybe not join this team, maybe not join like it works and stuff like that. So it was just kind of blew my, blew my mind that people were like, no, we don't have spots. And uh, that's what really got me. I was we don't have spots. Like, what do you mean you don't have spots? Like, I'm sure you could take one more person in to help you. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. That's just something we say is that we have spots left, but they're like, dude, if I had two spots yesterday and three people came to me, I would sign up all three people be like, yeah, girl, you got my last spot. Like, I don't know. I mean, that's just silly. Um, and yeah, sometimes like, um, like you just said, like it takes you a year to follow somebody and then join. Like it, it might not be overnight for some people and that's okay. I mean, I watched my upline for six months and literally bugged the crap out of her every single day. My husband was completely against me joining and here I am. So everybody's different. Um, one thing I want, like want to touch on before we end is 
to stop judging yourself. You are worth this. Don't, yeah, hold on. Same with Hannah. I was in Marie's situation as well. That's why I stopped. See, because Hannah's so excited. And you were on a different team, Peyton, right? Like you had joined before. Yep, I have one of those too. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to figure out this app. Okay. <laughs> if y'all couldn't tell. Um, I was, yes, I was under a girl. Um, she, 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 I joined under her and um, it was just, it was a weird situation because she basically just kind of set me on my own. She was just like, okay, well, yeah, you join. So, you know, you go do your thing. And it, it just wasn't like that at all. It was, it was, it was bad. We're not like here. We're not like that here. I yes, post the same I, I see that now. I do. I really do. And I, I was really scared, but because of I seeing Hannah and how she treats people, she's she reminds me of myself, and it, you know, it just really motivated me. So, yeah, well, that's good. And that, like I said, everybody's different, and you're going to relate to somebody that other people are not going to relate to and people are going to relate to you that in ways that you can't relate to other people. So literally everybody is different and just don't overthink it. That's like, just be real. Just be you, be excited, be real. Don't judge yourself. Don't answer questions for people like not, not answer questions, but don't answer the question as to where that, whether they want to join this business or use some of the products because you never know who is watching you and who, who needs this. Um, there are going to be a lot of struggles and there are going to be sacrifices. So I think that's one thing that a lot of people don't want to do is they just want to join this business and make a thousand dollars their first month. And I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. This is a business. This is a job just like any other job, except for our job is awesome because we get to do it anywhere and everywhere and whenever we want to. So if you work this business like a hobby, it's going to pay you like a hobby. If you do $20 worth of work, you're going to get a $20 paycheck. But if you do, thousand dollars worth of work you're gonna get a hundred dollar paycheck at first and that sounds a little backwards but that's just how it goes and then the next month if you do a thousand dollar work again you're gonna get a two hundred dollar paycheck and then the next month if you continue to do a thousand dollars worth of work you're gonna be making thirty thousand dollars a year it's not gonna pay off right from the get-go and that's where a lot of people quit and it makes me sad because a lot of these people that have quit on my team, like guys, I have over 165 distributors on my team, on my downline, including Hannah's downline. And, and you guys see there's 90 people on the team page and there are nine of you guys on here out of 90 people. Um, so that that's insane. Like almost half of the distributors that I've had have quit on, on me. And you know what? I don't care because they don't pay my bills and they miss out on a, on a golden opportunity. You guys are in the vehicle that can take you to literally any dream, any goal, any place that you want to go. You just have to get in and drive it. You have to work for it. Um, I've used this analogy before, but this is what I'm going to end with. So when you go to the nail salon to get your nails done, that nail salon put in a lot of time a lot of money, a lot of work to get that nail salon up and running. And then probably for the first entire year that they were working and they had employees, they're paying their employees, but they're also probably paying off a lot of debt. They're not actually making money. They're not making profit from this business that they opened because it's a business. You guys paid $99. That's it. A hundred dollars to literally have the license to print money. You get to make as much as you work. So you have the ability to make a hundred thousand dollars a month. You just have to put in the work to do it. It's, it's not going to happen overnight, but like the nail salon, now they're making Buku's, well, the one I go to is nice and they're making Buku's money because they stuck with it and they didn't quit. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams because this is this is the vehicle. It can take you there. You just have to want it bad enough. You have to be willing to sacrifice an hour worth of sleep every night. You have to be willing to get up maybe an hour early every single day. I can't tell you how many times I've eaten dinner at 1030 because I, I don't stop working or the fact that everything is in our freezer is like 
something that I can just throw in the oven like a pizza and put in there because I don't have time to cook because I'm building my empire. I don't, you know, I don't hang out with friends. I don't go out and party and drink. I don't um, do a lot of things. I sometimes don't even spend time with my husband and my kids, but in a year, I'm going to be able to spend all of the time I want to with my husband and kids and never have to worry about anything. And I'm still going to be working my business from wherever and whenever I want to. And that's the beauty of this job. And you can have that freedom too, but you just have to work for it. So that's what I want to end on. I hope that this has been somewhat helpful and not like uber long. I don't know if buying the pro was a good thing or a bad thing because I could literally sit here and talk your ear off all night. <laughs> So sorry about that. I meant to keep it like an hour. Um, but does anybody have any questions or anything that they want to say before I hop off? I just want to say something real quick. What's up, Lindsay? I, I mean, like, I, I don't really talk that much to anybody, like, on the post or anything. But I just want to say that Ileana, like, she's killing it. You go, girl. Like, keep it up your motivation is like like all of your stories are just so inspirational to me and like I followed Sarah for or actually she friend requested me on Instagram and what it was like a year that a like you watched me when I was pregnant yeah so wow yeah the twins are already a year old and like I look back on it and like I don't regret it at all. You know, I was so skeptical about the whole thing. And I mean, just your story and then watching everybody's story, we're all just like one big family, you know, and we all can just learn off of one, one another. And like seeing that Ileana is going Ruby, like pushes me to want to get to that point. Like your stories are just so inspirational and I, I want you all to know that. Like, it's just crazy. I don't know. It's like hard to express. Thanks. We can all do it. We're all going to get there. We're all going to be ambassadors. Look, look what I have right next to me. <laughs> oh, like this I love it. Yeah. It's so. crazy. But like I, I keep like saying my, like Sarah, I mean, even you, you know, who have been with the company for how long you say that you want to give up, you know, we all feel like we want to give up, but we all have that why on one, why we want to keep pushing to get to the top. And, you know, I just, I just wanted to say that you all are, are very inspirational and you keep me going. So thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> well, that's our job as a team is to lift you up and help people. And that's seriously, I feel like that's why, like, I don't want to toot my own horn because it's Hannah's team too, but our team is freaking awesome. Like we're just awesome because I seriously just want to help everybody feel what I feel every single day when I wake up. Like that's what I want you guys to have and everybody in here deserves it. And so when you think about quitting, like we had one girl um, on Hannah's downline. I'm going to, I'm going to say it. Um, one girl that was, had a kid and got pregnant and was pregnant again, quit because she was pregnant or because she didn't have the time and she was already a stay at home mom. Like what is quitting going to do for you? You have another kid on the way and this just isn't going as fast as you want to. So you're going to quit. If I quit, I would be making a measly $30,000 a year, which I thought was awesome at the time, barely scraping by and making my house and car payments, not being able to stay at home with my kids, there is nothing that quitting is going to do for you. You may not be ranking up at the pace that you thought you were going to be or that you want to be, but it's going to pay off in the long run. You just got to stick with it. Hannah, what's up? Sorry, we just about lost power. Peyton and I are in Oklahoma and all hell's breaking loose right now. But, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought I was like all alone because the thunder scared the so, shit out of me. Um, you have to get to events y'all like um was it Lindsay yeah what Lindsay was saying like I remember I still feel that way like when Sarah and I went to conference we were literally like smiles on our face especially when never mind never mind but um, about that. <laughs> um you have to get to events 
because they will change your business. Not only do you get to stockpile on pictures, but just all the be- the black, green, and bling, and just the environment, and hearing Mark Pentecost talk in person is just, it's unexplainable. Like, the energy in that room, Sarah and I were in the same room with 20,000 people. Um, I've literally got chills thinking about, like, you guys can't see, but that's, but like, you guys I'm literally know, like, chills. One thing that was really crazy for me, when we were at conference, Sarah and our husbands, we all shared a hotel room together. And when we first got there, you had to register and this and that. So my husband and I went to register and then we were walking back to the hotel to meet up with Sarah and this guy and his wife like pull up in like an escalate. I was like, this is it. I'm going to die. They're like, what? They're like, what is going on? Like, what are you guys? Like all we see is black and green. And I just whipped out a blitz card, I think out of my brawl or something. I don't know. And I was like, well, we're, we're a company called It Works. We're a health and wellness company, and this is our mascot. And I just handed them a blitz card, and his wife was like, her eyes like lit up. And just to be in Tampa, Florida, with literally 20,000 other distributors, and to have somebody pull up to you and say, like, who are you? Like, what are you guys? It was just another moment where you realize, like, there are so many more people out there that need you product-wise and business-wise. So think about the billions of people that are totally untouched, that if you could find one of them to be your runner, imagine what the charts would look like. If I have a tornado, guys, you guys better pray for me. And I want to add, like, that is that is why blitzing and parties and stuff are so important, too, um, is because we use social media. That's our go-to. Like, that's our main source of signing distributors and customers. But lately I've realized that there are a lot of people doing that same thing. And so a lot of people that I've followed lately have heard about it. But if I go out to a store and blitz some lady who's also having twins at Babies R Us, she's never heard about it because maybe she's not on Facebook and Instagram as much as we are. So that's something you have to kind of, that was like an aha moment for me because I'm like, why, you know, why can I not find anybody lately that has not heard about this? Well, it's because everybody uses social media, but not everybody does parties and blitzes. And so that's a, and, ver- and vendor events. Like guys, I just, in, I just booked a vendor event literally at like 10 o'clock this morning that is for tomorrow night. And I didn't, I didn't know about it, but I just started researching and I found a vendor event at, a place that's like 20 minutes away. So I'm going to pack my bags and take all my crap with me and I'm going to go and set a booth up and do my thing. And I asked the lady, like, do you guys have any It Works distributors? And I know for a fact, I've seen Blitz cards in places before. There were no It Works distributors that were for this event yet. Like there's over 50 booths in this huge building in Winston-Salem. It's a pretty big town. And nobody had done a vendor like nobody had set up a booth yet and that to me was just like okay this vendor event is literally in like 16 hours and there's not an it works distributor there yet it's it's crazy so it's intimidating but there's so many other ways to work your business and if you ever start to feel like you're burning out on social media it's time to take a new approach so that you can get your fire back and doing events makes you excited. Like I enjoy doing rap parties. I enjoy talking about how excited I am about the company and the products. So I feel like I'm going to enjoy vendor events too. Um, so sometimes just remember that if you get burned out, do something different. Take take a step back and look at all the different ways that you can work this business because it's not it's definitely not just one. But it's midnight here, and my twins are probably going to be up in six hours. So. <laughs> I am going to hop off. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can post it to the team page underneath the Zoom meeting ID or whatever. And Hannah and I, are tra- Hannah and I, or I, I don't know, we'll answer them. Um, anybody have anything else to say really quick? You all rock. <laughs> you do too, girl. Thanks, everybody, for hopping on, and I will let you know when the next one is going to be. All right. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Bye, guys.